Next question is from Sarah Skilled. Given that most of us are working out from home now, is there any benefit or drawback to working out barefoot versus flat shoes or cross trainers? Huge benefit, but I'm going to follow it up with this uh, with this disclaimer, okay? The, there's a massive benefit to working out barefoot, but now if you're used to working out in shoes, your feet are right now, barefoot, your weakest link, meaning your feet should dictate how much resistance you use. Your feet should dictate uh, the kind of workouts you do because- if you're used to the stability of your shoes, where your shoes are literally stabilizing your arches, making sure your feet stay in position, and then you take them off, mm -hmm. now the muscles and the strength and stability of your feet have to do that. And if you're used to squatting 200 pounds with shoes on, now when you squat, you're probably going to have to go down to 100 pounds and watch your feet and make sure they look perfect. Because if you go to your old workout with shoes off and your feet are weak, you're going to hurt yourself. The odds of hurting yourself are very high. So that's there's a lot of value there, though, because... Your feet play a massive role in your body's overall strength and stability, and oftentimes we don't strengthen them because we're reliant on our shoes. I personally love uh, working out barefoot. Um, as far as like recommending it, yeah, I definitely would. Uh, you know, echo what what Sal said. But uh, to start off, definitely as much as you can, walk around your house with your shoes off. Your 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 socks off, you know, splay those toes out, you know, really individually, uh, you, you know, work those those toes so that way uh, you can g regain a lot of connection there. The more connection you can gain with your toes and your feet and being able to manipulate your feet uh, the way that they're supposed to, the more stability you're going to provide uh, for your entire body. It's it's pretty it's pretty radical once you get your your feet to work and stabilize you how they how they should. Uh, what that translates to when you go back to to heavy lifting. So you just got to take it like really gradually. Uh, if it's not something that you've ever even considered in terms of having your shoes, and I know there's there's different cultures and in, in places where like that's the first thing is you take your shoes off and like you know you're in your house with the, with your toe, but not everybody does that. I, I go to a lot of people's houses where they're always in their shoes. Mm. So just to at least start with that and then gradually kind of, uh, you know, work your way into adding load, doing ex body weight exercises without uh, shoes, barefoot, and then kind of start to add load gradually as you go. Well, this is uh, kind of connected to the uh, progressive overload question, right? So the way I do barefoot training is I I pair it with the day that I also have decided I'm on, this is like body control and tempo I'm slowing down I'm looking at my technique I'm pausing at the bottom of, of my squats and so the load is way lower than what I am when I'm like going for maximal like when I'm trying to you know hit a PR or lift really really heavy and I'm doing threes or five uh, reps per set this is I'm not going to do this. But when I'm going to go in, I'm like, you know what? Today is all about how I move. I want to be connected to my body. I'm going to slow down the tempo. I want to feel through everything. And that is a way of progressive overloading. Even though I'm not lit putting more weight on the bar, I'm going to challenge my body in a different way. And these are the days that I love to take my shoes off. I'm like, I'm going to just do, I'm going to do walking lunges, just my body weight. And I'm going to do it barefoot. And I'm going to grip the floor every step and, and, and really evaluate my technique and how I drive out of the hole, how I land, like, and I, and I get really detailed about it. this is also, I think, uh, what helps me keep sane and lifting for as long as I've been lifting is sometimes that's the goal for the day. I don't get so caught up in muscle and body fat and uh, strength mm -hmm. gains. Sometimes it's like, can I get barefoot? And can I do some basic movements like walking lunges and body weight squats and do these things and single leg toe touches and like really do it perfect barefoot? And that is can be a very challenging workout, especially if you never do it. And so, you know, and I'll get on a kick for a while where that'll be the focus. The focus is I'm going to do all this stuff barefoot, but I have to start way low and I'm going really slow and controlled and there's not a lot of load on me. But what a great way to challenge the body and get connected. The mistake that people make is they hear us talk about how beneficial it is to do barefoot training. And then they just, all they do is they do their exact routine they would normally do and they just take their shoes off. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not a good idea because your body is not used to that. And it's for sure, like Sal said, that this is your feet are now your weakest link. And, and you're expecting without that support from the shoe to go do the same things like not a good idea.